on the sunny side of life. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way if we keep on the sunny side of life. Hey guys, I'm coming to you from Sugar Hollow Park. Kelsey's show around and show them what all is going on. Lots of people walking, keeping their distance though, which is very cool. But today's episode is episode five, and we're going to talk about vascular and non-vascular plants. Can you tell me, is this tree vascular or non-vascular? Can you tell me, is this grass vascular or non-vascular? Can you tell me, is this moss on the side of this tree vascular or non-vascular? We're taking a nature walk today and we're going to look at all the vascular and non-vascular. Not going to be seeing very many non-vascular. Can y'all tell me what vascular means? Well, I'm going to tell you. Vascular means it's with roots and tubes. And most everything you see here has roots and tubes. Down to the grass and the weeds, up to the big old trees. The only two things that do not have roots and tubes are moss and liver warts. Hey guys, we are now at Kelsey's favorite place, Chick-fil-A, because her little baby growing in her belly says she wants an ice cream cone, so we thought we'd stop here. I wanted to show you this one right here that is blooming. This is a cherry tree, and it is blooming right now. We just had the Bradford pears bloom, um, and now it's time for the cherry trees to bloom. So what's going to happen? You're going to see these beautiful blooms. They're going to eventually, I call it um, spring snowstorm because it looks like the snow when they start to um, shed off. And then what will replace those are the leaves. This is definitely a vascular tree. Let me ask you that evergreen there. That means it's forever green. That's what evergreen means. It stays green all the time. Is that evergreen a vascular or non-vascular? I gotta go get my ice cream. Okay guys, we are in the drive-thru and there is the Chick-fil-A cow. There he is and he is made out of moss. Is he vascular or non-vascular? Okay, I gotta go eat my ice cream. Bye little cow! This is a walnut orchard where walnuts come from. And if you see, the base of the tree is a little different than the top of the tree. And each one of these has a rootstock that is acclimated for this climate and to be pest resistant. And then they graft the English walnut tree on the top of it and then you have kind of two trees put together. One tree is the root system, and one tree is the tree that produces walnuts. Okay, we're going to review the plant sale. 
Um, remember that the outside is the cell wall. That's extra protection. The inside is the cell membrane. That's for protection. Down here is the nucleus. That dark spot is the nucleus. It's the brain. It's what tells everything in the cell what to do. These right here are the vacuoles. They're the ones that suck up all the bad stuff and try to keep them in there to keep the cell healthy. Um, the little jelly-like stuff moving around is the cytoplasm, and the green is the chloroplast. Remember, chloroplast is what makes food for all the plants. Every plant has these types of cells, weeds, flowers, trees, grass, all of them. Here's the joke. How do trees get on Google Classroom? You don't know. Maybe they log in. <laughs> okay, that's it for episode five. Meanwhile, I'm going to sit here and count all my vascular plants. Make sure you take the quiz. See you later. And look at your announcements on Google Classroom. One, two, three. What you doing, Miss P-Dubs? I'm counting my vascular plants. Four. Keep on the sunny side of life. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way. If we keep on the sunny side.